Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are researching Mariner 1 payload for the Venus Impactor. We are preparing to launch. Uh, we have a mission in progress, heat shield analysis, with our astronaut Dinky Bernard on board. And then we have a multi crew orbit that we're planning. So we are going to launch heat shields now which is perfect because that is a lot of science for us a lot of science 1712 science plus the bonuses and reasonably reliable stuff oh, that we are launching into space and it's freaking raining it looks really bad doesn't it it's really coming down I think it's terrible conditions Terrible conditions, minus 15%. There's 10% chance of blowing up. We're gonna reschedule. We're gonna reschedule because I'm not risking Dinky Bernard in some suboptimal conditions. So we're gonna have to wait until November. That's a shame. That is a shame. All right, Gemini, Mariner research complete. Probe designed for planetary observations and atmospheric sampling, equipped with a large, high-gain dish antenna. Okay. And the Gemini is... payload is ready. Minus 25% vehicle build cost, minus 25% size ward. No! Man, that sucks. Ha! Huh. Do we have a design that we can reuse? No. Design new. We don't have a rocket that can do this. We don't have a rocket that can do this. We have a booster that can do it. But we don't have an upper stage that can do it. We need either Delta K, Agena, Titan 2, or Saturn, or one of the Saturns. Dang it! Alright. Uh, well, we just completed some research, so vehicles. So we need... Uh, let's actually go... Active missions here. Suggested mission parts. Upper stages. We have to get these upper stages. So that means... That we need to research contractors. 1500 science that costs. Okay. Damn it. Uh, all right. And next month, contractors research complete. Unlocks contractors doing vehicle construction. Private contractors are, are a valuable resource for any agency. When constructing a vehicle, contracts can bestow unique effects such as lowering build time or increasing launch reliability. Okay. Let's do some more research. Now, the Titan II could do it. But which ones can do it? Uh, upper stages. Titan II, Delta K, Agena, Centaur. All right. So, Titan II. Build cost 792,000, has a mass of 8,000 kilos, and a capacity of 3,800. Delta K, wow, 1.1 million, almost 1.2 million. Agena has a mass of 7,700. 7, uh, takes three months, takes four months, takes three months. Launch reliability f over here, two months, and it's cheap. But it only has a capacity of 800 kilos and very unreliable. Agena is 65%, 75%, 75%. Hmm. We'll go with Titan 2. That'll be done next month. All right. That's a good thing. 
Titan II research complete. And we are now ready to launch the heat shield analysis, provided the weather is decent. 1992 science now we're getting. And the weather looks good. The weather looks good. Nighttime launch of the Pleurotos. Whatever that means, I have no idea. And adequate conditions, 0%. So 6% risk of kaboom. Good luck, Dinky Bernard. Four, three, two, one. We have ignition. And we have liftoff. Dinky has cleared the tower. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Go, Dinky. Go, Dinky. Don't blow up. Dinky, you blew up. Dinky. Oh no. Frickin' 1%. God damn it! It hit 1%. There was a 94% chance of that not happening. Huh. God damn it. Minus 300 support. Dinky! I am so sorry. <sighs> uh, let's do orbital EVA. Man! Multi crew orbit. Design new. Booster will be... Uh, it'll be the Atlas. Because I think that's the only one that can do it. We have the Titan II here. And then the booster. The Atlas can do it. The Ariane can do it if we put boosters on it. Uh, we can't do that, so it will be the Atlas. All right. 78% launch reliability. 629,000. Five months. Build vehicle. God damn it. All right. Uh, Let's take a look at Venus, because we can do the Venus Impactor now and get third. So let's plan that mission. The Mariner 1. And... I think we'll just do the standard. Build that payload. Three months. Serious flaw discovered. Your engineers have discovered a major sign flaw in Formidable, the launch vehicle in your upcoming multi-crew orbit mission. They estimate a 20% reduction from its current launch reliability of 78%. Diplomatic advisors have suggested approaching China to collaborate on a solution, yet others have cautioned that sharing your technology would grant a China a science boost. We're going to have to work with China. I'm not going up with a 20% reduction in... Uh, in launch reliability with just lost Dinky Bernard so work with China work with China oh man budget review got 500 support we're still way off getting to the next tier way off so multi-crew orbit and Venus impactor are 
going. The large launch pad is complete in a month, which is good. Mariner 1 is complete in a month, and Formidable is complete in three months. All right. Large launch pad is complete. Allows the launch of heavy rockets. 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 A large launch pad is a requirement to send the largest vehicles and heaviest payloads into space. Okay. All right. Mariner 1 is complete. 50% uh, build time. Minus 50% build time for level 0 vehicle parts. Minus 50%. 15% launch reliability for level 0 vehicle parts. Alright, let's design. Can we use we use anything new? Design new. Upper stage. We don't have anything that can do it. We don't have anything that can do it. Why can't the Titan 2 do it? Uh, why can't the Titan 2 do this? Earth orbit only. Okay. Well, we know what we're researching next then. Delta K. Oh, cancel. Delta K or Agena. I think we'll go with the Gina. Yep. Alright, next month. Okay, next month. And here we go for the multi crew orbit. Maximum mission training bonus increased by a hundred percent. Not bad. All right, we need to hire some astronauts. Unfortunately, Dinky won't be going. She will be missed. Uh, Le Grand, Noel Le Grand, uh, is going to be hired. He retires in 1983, but he's a scientist, and he's the only scientist there. So uh, you're hired. What does an athlete do? Uh, minus 50% recovery time for this astronaut after mission. Oh, that's not bad, actually. I want a Le an electrician on board for the extra one power so you're hired and then we need one more we could go with a problem solver or a navigator hmm. let's go with a problem solver you are all selected for the mission I'm sure you're very confident, confident considering that Dinky Bernard just blew up. Um, let's go in June. That was a optimal launch window, right? Yeah. All right, we're going in June. Two months, and we're. Risking another three astronauts' lives. Agena research is complete. A versatile upper stage designed to deliver payloads into Earth orbit and to the inner planets. Okay. Ready for launch. Let's do it. 1,632 science, 78% launch reliability. Decent conditions, it looks like. It's a stubby little rocket, isn't it? Okay, adequate conditions, 5% chance of going boom. Don't go boom. Hold on. I almost can't watch. Don't go boom. Don't go boom. Oh, we have lift off. We've cleared the tower. Please don't go boom. We're still going up. We're still going up. Go, go. Yeah. 
No more scientists or astronauts dead. Secure launch even. No negative effects. Whew. All right. Multi-crew orbit. We need to gather a bit of everything, and we have our crew as a resource. We need to gather 12, 11, 11 and 18. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. Let's do manual data collection. Then we can uh, conduct an experiment. And when they can do a ground control connection, I think that's a decent start. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we want to use all our command slots. Um, then we can do an external sensor alignment. Confirm. Of course. Wow. The manual data collection did not go well. We'll resist it. Alright. Experiments went well. All good. Ground control connection is perfect. Loud and clear. And we get an extra comms very nice and then we have our external sensor alignment which also goes off without a hitch okay so two six and four we have now so i think we'll do the manual data collection and the experiments again and Then I think we'll use some power and some comms to get some uh, some navigation going. Yeah. Confirm commands. All right. Manual data collection went well. So did the experiments, barely. And the flower course adjustment was perfect. Well, not perfect, but it was good. And so was the second flower course adjustment. All right. So that gets us a good piece of the way there for the data and the, um, the navs. The data is actually there. So let's do some more manual data collection. And we'll conduct experiments as well, I think. Because then we can do... Ground control connections twice. Yeah, I think that's good. Confirm. Ooh. The manual data collection went... Horribly wrong. Uh, we'll resist it. But that was a very, very nice uh, comms. Nice. An extra comms there. And the ground con control connection is good. And the ground control connection is confirmed good. Very good. So now we're up to 9, 12, and 16. We have two turns remaining. So we can do some manual data collection again. That puts us over the top for the um, for the comms. And then we can actually do a flight path control. That gives us everything. And then we can just recharge power twice. And that gives us our bonus reward. Very good. 
gonna accept that. And the flight path control is good. And we have achieved Earth orbit. Then now we need to perform a controlled re-entry. Right? And here we have some heat that we need to burn off. Okay, we need to collect 10 and 9. We have heat as a worry, and we have crew. Okay, so heat. Uh, we need to make sure that our heat is below 4 at the end of each turn. If it's 4 or above, then we blow up. So, and at the end of each turn, there is a fluctuating modifier here that adds heat to our craft. So we need to burn off some heat uh, as much as we can. So we're going to do the manual data collection and conduct experiments. Then we're going to do a ground control connection times two we need to collect 19 and 20 that is a lot right that takes our power down to or our heat down to zero and it gets us off to a pretty good start i think and straight off again we hit a snag and another one on conducting the experiments assist that too ground control connection was Good though, and it is confirmed with very clear communications. So now we're checking for heat here, and it adds three heat to our craft, which sucks balls. All right, we'll do conduct experiments or manual data collection. We'll conduct experiments, and then we'll do ground control connection twice again. Basically the exact same thing that we just did. That'll get us down to one, and that's okay. So confirm. And data collection went well this time. Uh, the experiments just keep going wrong. The ground control connection was again good, and it was confirmed good once more. All right, so that takes us up to 13 8. Let's see how much heat we got. We only got one, so that's good. Now we can do this one more time, taking us down to zero, and that actually gets us the comms that we need. Then we just need some um, some nav. So let's uh, confirm this. All right. Manual data collection went well again, and once more the experiments go wrong. Man, our scientist sucks. Uh, resist it. And all good on the ground control connection, and on it's confirmed once more. Down to zero heat. Let's see what it gets us. Three, of course. Alright, now when we hit the 19 and 20, we don't have to worry we don't have to worry about the heat because we just completed it. So we don't have to worry about heat if we hit the um the target. Let's do this. That puts us on target. We can't resist anything. Well, we can resist once. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, there it goes. God damn it. Uh, resist it. All right. Fly over course adjustment. Second one is good. And the manual data collection is good. So we have done it. Very good. Very, very good. And down we come for a nice splash. And we have done the multi-crew orbit. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed.
mission complete. Food Earth Orbit. We are first, so we get an extra 225 support. And then we get the bonuses. So 1575 support we gain and 612 science for four months. Excellent. They all need to recuperate, and that's okay. Um, what's next? Let's first go make sure that we can actually do this mission. Uh, design a vehicle. We need the Agena. Only 50% reliability. Uh. All right. And we need a booster, which will be the Atlas. Yeah, it has to be the Atlas. All right. One point one million eighty-eight thousand it'll cost to build this thing. But it'll only take three months, so that's good. Confirm. Build that vehicle. Now, let's see. NASA is launching Venus Impactor in 12 months. So... Nine months, eight months, they already did it. Uh, they'll launch in eight months. They'll launch in nine months. We might actually beat them. We might actually beat them and come second. All right. Missions. We will continue with the orbital EVA research. And let's check orbital EVA. No one has that. Well, that's good. Look at all the firsts. One, two, three, four, five times we've come first. Over here we haven't come first. Uh, but it's okay. Alright, next month. Offer help to rival. Following your successful multi-crew orbit mission, your advisors have suggested publicly offering to share your payload technology with China in return for China making a similar offer in the past. China would gain science if they accept, though your advisors predict that the media will revel in the story. Hmm. All right, offer the research. 300 support. We are almost up to the 8,000 that we need for the funding review. I think we'll make that next month. China is launching Venus Impactor in six months. Next month. Okay, Venus Impactor vehicle complete. Minus 50% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal windows. Very nice. All right, we'll do... Uh, let's just see. 70 and 66. I want the science. I'm greedy. Launch date. Oof. I want to go before those guys. Uh, 56% launch reliability. We're going in December. We're, we're risking it. We're risking it to come second. Orbital EVA research complete. An astronaut's skill in performing an extravehicular activity, EVA, can be vital when it comes to, unpre to the unpredictable nature of space missions. The first images of su a successful spacewalk are sure to ca capture the imagination of the planet at large. All right. Uh, so we have that, we have that. Uh, let's research some more vehicles because we do need to do that. Um, let's actually research the SRBs here. The two times SRBs. Alright. So two solid fuel bo rocket boosters designed to be attached to a launch vehicle to provide additional thrust. And then we need one more. So this is take large payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. But this is 
crewed payloads into Earth orbit. Fuel upper stage able to launch payloads into Earth orbit and to the inner planets. They are designed to launch small probes towards the inner planets. Hmm. I think I'll do the Delta K. Yeah, we'll do the Delta K. All right, next month, Delta K research complete. Venus Impactor is ready for launch. Okay, look at all that science. Oh. The weather is looking okay. Even though we are in a suboptimal launch window, come on. Good conditions, plus five percent. Nice. So we only have a ten percent risk of critical failure. Let's go. Let's head to Venus. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Don't blow up. You know you want to go to Venus. You really, really, really want to go to Venus. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You want to go to Venus. Yes, you do. Outstanding. All right. And wow. Almost the positive event, but not quite. Secure launch. I am good with that. The Atlas is now at max level. And the Gina, uh, Gina got a little bit more reliability. So Venus Impactor first phase. Enter Venus Transfer Orbit. So now we have thrust that we need to consider, uh, which is pretty cool. So let's see what we need. For our bonus reward, we need six comms, six nav, and eight uh, thrust. Now we have four turns. At the end of each turn, we use we lose one thrust. So in order to do that, we need to do this. We, we're going to need to thrust three times, no matter what. Uh, but don't do it in the first turn because it can't go to negative. So if we don't thrust in the first turn, then we don't lose the one and we don't have to use this, uh, this controlled burn. So we're going to start by getting the infrared spectroscopy. Then we'll do the ground control connection. And then we'll do a micrometeorite detection. Yeah. All right. Confirm. We don't have a whole lot of power, which uh, is kind of bad. Oh, nice! And extra comms for the uh, ground control. Micrometeorite detection is successful as well. So we're off to a good start. Now, uh, we need to do the controlled burn now. There's no two ways about it. So we'll start out by, the, by doing that, so we don't forget about it. Then... We could do a solar flare analysis. And then we do a ground control connection. I think that works. The next time we can do two ground control connections. Yep, let's do it. All right, the controlled burn was good. We get some thrust. Oh, the solar flare analysis is not good. Let's resist that. Oh, and now there is the ground control connection. Oof, that is bad. 
That is really, really bad. We're going to have to recharge some power here. There's just no way around it. We need to do, do the controlled burn. Then we can do a ground control connection and a recharge power. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, come on! Control burn, we'll have to resist that. Alright, that's something at least. So we have one power. We need to do the uh, controlled burn again. Then we need freaking five. Um, data, so we can do that to get four. And then we can do that to get the last one. Might not get our bonus ward here. Alright, the control burn went well. The data transmission went well. Which means we can resist the final one. If it goes wrong, it didn't. Whew! 50% bonus reward achieved. Good. All right, Venus transfer trajectory is go. So 150 support and 276 science for three months. And that just takes us over the 8,000 for the funding review next month. That's awesome. All right, now let's Hmm. Let's do Mercury Orbit research. And continue on to the next month. Budget review. More than 2,000 we got in the last year. And it does take us up to Tier 8. And 306,000 a month. Very good. We're making 192,000 a month now. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right. Next month. Uh, NASA is launching the Venus Impactor next month. We already launched. Uh, so we're coming second at the moment. China is launching this month. And NASA is launching next month. Right. We do have a mission slot, so let's see if there is any good missions. This is a lot of support and a good science. Minus 10 and vehicle upgrade, minus 10% vehicle build cost. We're doing this. We are doing this. Hell yeah. Long duration flight. Here we go. And we'll take an extra crew in our Gemini capsule. Build the payload. Next month. Next mission phase ready. Venus Impactor is ready for its next mission phase. Go to the active mission screen to continue this mission. All right, go to missions, Venus Impactor. Let's continue. There we have it. There's Venus. All right. Let's see what we need to do now. Obtain scientific data. We have heat as an obstacle here. All right. We need to collect five comms, five data, eight nav. All right. And we gain plus two heat every time. Every turn, no exceptions. And we need to stay below five. So we don't actually have to burn heat off on this turn. But we're going to, I think we are going to ping the location. 
then we're going to do some uh, atmospheric sampling. And then we're going to transfer some telemetry. Yeah, that's a good start, I think. Strong start. All right, confirm. All right, uh, the ping was good. We know where we are. Uh, atmospheric sampling didn't go so well, but we'll resist that. And that's emergency transfer is perfect. Good. All right, we're off to start. We are off to a start. We're checking for heat. Getting two. So we're back up to two. All right. All right. So what do we do now? Hmm. I think we do an orbital realignment. Then we do... That's a limiter transfer. And then we do some atmospheric sampling. Yep, that's what we're doing. All right, orbital realignment was successful. We transferred our telemetry data. All good. Atmospheric sampling went well this time. Good. And let's see. We got two heat, so there we go. All right. Now. Now, now, now. We'll do an orbital realignment. Then I think we'll do a flyover course adjustment. And some atmospheric sampling. That almost takes us there. That almost takes us there. All right. Orbital realignment is good. Ooh, flyover course adjustment didn't go so well. Uh, we'll uh, we'll fix it. We'll adjust it again. And that atmospheric sampling went off without a hitch. All right. And we'll get up to three heat now, which is not great. Now all we really need is two. Um. Two of these. It's the last turn. We only have one power. So if we do this, and then do this, that gets us there, and then we can recharge our power once to, to have one resist. So provided we only have to resist once time, one time we get our 50% bonus reward. And there's no heat check this time. Notice that. Uh, so we don't need to bleed off heat. So confirm command. All right, we only have to resist one time. Flyover course adjustment was good. And so was the mission data update. Outstanding, accept that. And we are getting our bonus reward. Very nice. And the mission control is going wild. All right, second for Venus Impactor. We got 40 extra um, for that, 40 extra support. And we get 20, minus 25 buildings research cost, okay. Not bad. 642 science for six months. We can definitely use that. And 640 support. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. Okay. 
So we were second. Uh, China is in progress and NASA is launching this month. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, we're getting 852 science a month for the next six months. So Mercury orbit is done next month. We have a mission slot open. We're launching the Gemini soon. Well, we're building the Gemini. Um, and Mercury is actually done next month. Do we need to research a payload for that? Uh, yeah, we do. Mariner 8. So we should do some mission in the meantime. Ooh, look at that. 2,376 science. Experimental fuel, experimental fuel, lucrative. I'd say so. Long duration flight, we're already doing. Maneuvering evaluation, what's this you get? Advanced weatherproofing vehicle upgrade. Launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions is halved. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. It's good science. It's good support. I think we might be doing that. But we'll have to find out what we're doing in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.